Word. Welcome to the B Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devon and I'm here with Emma. Hi. I'm here with CJ. Hello. And I'm here with Alex. Hello. What's up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Max is away on um, secret business. If we tell you, <laughs> we'd have to kill you. Right? I guess yeah. so. Yeah. We're now going to re- refer to him as Double O Maxi. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be back Double next week. Um, that could be a running joke. Double O Maxi. No, he has a license uh, to be, thrill. He'll be he'll be here next week. Ah, but he was here last week. He was. He was. Um, okay, guys, this article, mm. this first article, is <laughs> like I I read it. I was read it, and I was like, what? Wait, what? Mm. Okay. Aaron, naughty Aaron, Aaron Kabaja, he is um, from England. He's a senior nurse slash manager on the dementia ward um, at a at Highbury Hospital in Nottingham, right? So he's a nurse on a ward. He has been acting inappropriately towards other nurses uh, between 2012 to 2016. Another nurse? Other nurses, yeah, that he works with. So his colleagues. Yeah, okay. Yeah, his colleagues. Um, The last thing he did, basically, was set off an emergency alarm Mm. on the ward so that he could watch a colleague's breasts bounce as she ran down the (laughs) corridor. (laughs) And when she was running down the corridor, (laughs) he simulated the, the bouncing boobs, basically. So he pulled the emergency alarm just for that so, reason. So he did this. <laughs> right. And he would also, so besides that, which is now, in, this is going, this is in court now. Besides that, um, he, with other nurses. How do you stuff, prove that? How do you prove, like, unless he admits it, how do you prove? He's denied everything <laughs> so far. Yeah. Well, they have a video of him doing this. <laughs> Maybe that's just the way he runs. Maybe he was just uh, used to running with uh, Disman. <laughs> That's how he used to run with his Disman. So he also used to uh. like drop pens on the floor and ask them to pick him up saying, go on, you know you want to, like wink at him. He's, uh, he's gross. And then... Um, but wait, did the nurses pick him up or did they just kick it at him? <laughs> I hope they just kicked it at him. Oh. He would like deliberately block the doorway so they couldn't get, or so they had to like yeah, brush just, past him. It's just full harassment. And then he like it? tried to grope him. Um, he dropped his keys once saying, go on, whilst thrusting his hips. Like he's just disgusting. Mm. Um, oh. he's, he's just awful. Yeah, so he yeah. just propositions them, um, gestures at himself. Um, it's, yeah, it sounds awful. Yeah, breathe down okay. the phone line, <laughs> stuff there, like that. Yeah. But he works in a dementia ward. Like, I just... That's, like, he's he's hoping to, be, to forget. But you know when um, people <laughs> like that in the healthcare sector? Yeah. Um, you would think as their... You would think that their personalities are caring personalities, but yet they do this type of thing. This guy is married with, I think, three or four children, mm. and he's, like, accused of all these things. I have to say accused because he denies it. I, I don't know if being a married I, man is a is a thing because like didn't we discuss like a lot of married men uh like go on gay uh gay apps? Yes. Gay dating apps. Yeah. So I don't know if like saying someone's married with four children is a a thing. Okay, this is true. What do you what do you think? You know what it means if he's married to four children. What does that mean? You like six. <laughs> four times. <laughs> He had at least four times in his marriage. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> but imagine how he's looking for his fifth. Turn up to work. <laughs> yeah. And like deal with someone like that. That'd be horrible. It'd be awful. Yeah, like like some of it did sound a bit stupid and funny, but mm. then some of it's on the borderline like serious like bad harassment. Yeah. Mm. Like Have he you- called one lady and was like breathing down the phone to her, like deep breathing and That's- that's creepy. Yeah. Like, like, like the buzzer thing, like when the say just bounce, like I would laugh. I'm not going to lie. I would have laughed at that one. <laughs> but then, but then I'm not going to like block it in the hallway going, no, you can't come through. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like. That's, bo- that's, 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 that's going to be you know, a bit, bit, bit bad. too far. 
But know, I'm pretty sure you can't you just set off emergency alarms for stuff, No, that's right? illegal. That's definitely illegal. Yeah. Is, that's an illegal Is move. it? Yeah. Because, like, the fire okay. f- the fire brigade comes. Like, the fire people, fire department come. They would have to pay a fine. Yeah, I think, they? You, I think you pay. Same with the ambulance. Yes, it feels like yeah. 500 bucks. Yeah. Oh. Australia. Yeah. I'm not sure about the UK. Hmm. Whose article is this? I just really this? like the picture. This was actually Alexander's article. article, I just realized. Oh. Tell us about this article, yeah. Alexander. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Emma, Emma well, told you well, everything. Well, Do you know what? Well, well, I why did you this. put the bouncy boobs in the um podcast? <laughs> I picked this because his picture is brilliant. Like they've this captured picture. his this essence picture. in entirety in this picture. Oh, they show his yeah, actual send... what he actually looks like. Keep... What is that? Yeah, oh, like? his picture now. Oh yeah. Um, I'll bring it up in you're here. You're gonna you're gonna look at it and be like, "Yep, yeah, that makes sense." <laughs> does he? Have, does he have? Does he have creep written all over him? <laughs> on his hat. Yep. <laughs> he has one of those red MAGA hats that yeah. just says creep <laughs> yeah. instead. <laughs> Wait, Tr- Trump doesn't have a uh, one of any of those hats anymore, does he? What? Nah. He's he's scared it might be used to cover their face for coronavirus. Um But no, I really the reason I brought this article in yeah. was because I didn't do anywhere near as much research as Emma. And to me, two things. One, I knew CJ would enjoy it. Two, I I thought, like I wrote tight 40-year-old virgin. Like I just assumed this guy was a virgin. I don't, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not a normal thing for someone to do. Um, and I just thought it was such a contrasting real world view to the actual film as well. What I film? think about the guy in the film and how timid he was as a person. But this guy's a complete opposite. What film? 40-Year-Old Virgin? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what you've done. So you've... you've Okay. So Alexander's seen this guy and straight away put him as a 40-Year-Old Virgin character. Ah. Oh. And then... Yes. And yes, put, yes, that, yes. put that character in the hospital scenario... And then when we started reading it, he wasn't um, he wasn't timid. He was very <laughs> forthcoming. Yeah, he was so forthcoming. <laughs> and now, uh, to be to be honest with you, when I heard male nurse, I thought gay nurse. <laughs> I don't think that. I, I thought, was actually. I, I know a male nurse who's, who's definitely because, not gay because CJ is not on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> he lives in the nineties. <laughs> 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 you know, CJ is like. Have you ever been to like, um, uh, like your your grandparents' house, right? And you go in and you go, it like there's something in there that's still in mint condition, mm. and it's like it was made in 1975, and it's like <laughs> it's still in the wrapper, Grandma. Are you gonna use that? But have you, you been to like <laughs> people's houses where it. they have plastic on the sofa? That's what I'm saying. Like, are you ever gonna feel <laughs> what that? Couch <laughs> I don't, I don't like? have I don't have plastic on my sofa. No, I'm just. <laughs> I've been to people's <laughs> houses where they have had plastic on their sofa. Your plastic on your brain, the tea mate. cozy, that um white over that, the kettle. No, that white um placemat with the holes oh, in it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What, over the called? arms. Yeah, over the, over arms, the arms, arms. So you don't wear down the fabric. Yeah. <laughs> and the head. Yeah. <laughs> CJ's like that. If you go into his brain, he's got Air Force Ones. Um, his hat's backwards. He's got a long T-shirt, baggy jeans. Still got that full head of hair. Uh, full, full head <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and still doing the pop locking. <laughs> oh, mate, since last week, I am pop. Every time I walk, I'm pop locking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Something's popping every five seconds. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, no, I don't think I have it on me. When, when you were talking about this article, hmm. right, and you said naughty nurse mm. and then you said dementia ward mm. my head went like this dirty bastard with the old sta- people oh, yeah no. started doing all the dementia yeah. no but and there is like, people that do that one person got done re- uh this week i think for that do you, do you know the ones that um have you seen the clerks that work in the morgues and then they have sex with the with the oh. dead people have you seen like they that's a thing that's a thing i don't know if it's Was a it thing ne- but i saw it on a, i saw it on a like tv show necrophilia is it? Is that what it's called? Is this, is this, is this the say yeah, it's necrophilia? Necrophilia, whatever. 
Is, is this yeah. the same YouTube channel you watch the glass break? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But there's these, there's like, yeah, it's just, a, it's a thing, isn't it? I don't know why it's a thing, but it's a thing. It's, um, I don't know why. Maybe they like the cold. I, don't, I guess I don't I get why things body. are oh. like become things. I don't get it. Why do things mean? become uh, uh, things? Why these, why weird stuff starts? Because oh. everyone's weird. Because people get bored. A lot of people are weird. A lot of people are weird. Yeah. I think I think we're yeah. ignorant to a lot of people's weirdness. Yeah. I think yeah. I think the if you just look how we've painted normal. Yeah. Not a single person on earth fits that criteria. Yeah. Yeah. Like we are all not normal. That cookie shape. At that all. cookie shape cutter that they've used to say this is the, the gingerbread norm. man. Yeah. It's like I don't <laughs> fit in that. <laughs> I definitely. It's also why I think. Like in the next five years, five to ten years, social media is going to probably drastically change because social media is just curating the more and more and more perfect form of normal that we're supposed to be that no one is, and it's it's yeah, causing I, a lot. I, I've of really noticed. Problems. I've really noticed that. Yeah, <laughs> I've really <laughs> noticed that as well. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. To be honest, yeah, it's painting like everyone's opinions of where they should live their lives, and really, they you know they should all be individuals. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice observation. <laughs> <Philosophical scenes. laughs> you look like uh, Notre Dame in that when you do that look. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Notre Dame? Oh, I don't know. Nostra. Is it Nostra? Yeah. yeah he's a Notra. <laughs> he's a Notre Dame. <laughs> I'm not sure the Dame. <laughs> um, yeah. That's about it. That's about it. Mm. Okay, little game. Mm. Foods that you should never eat past the expiration date. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You've all listened of them. Um, First of all, so <laughs> to confirm, you've got your sell-by dates, which is when the stores can sell them. They're not allowed to sell them after that. Uh, Use-by dates, um, when you should use the food, buy. Yeah. Um, best, best before, before best before dates you can still eat it after the best before but it might not be as tasty as it was before um, and then I think it was like um, closed by or coded dates which is the number and letters used by the manufacturer to say when it was packed can I or give just... you can I give you like a, um, a tidbit yeah I stole that as well uh, uh, this you know the little uh, on Thief. the breads on the breads yes. And they've got uh, the tabs have different colors. Bread tags. Bread bread tags. Yeah. They're for the different days of the week. They're for uh, they they represent what's the freshest and what's not. Yeah. The different colors. But that's like so the fr- like what whatever's that? so if it's on a Monday, Monday would be red, Tuesday would be blue, Wednesday would be white. It, and I was like, I was like, wow. Now if I see a bread and I know the color code, I'm like, hang on a sec. You're trying to sell me four day old bread here. That's color blue <laughs> from last week. <laughs> I don't know if it's coded by day or just by like. Have a look. That's, have a look. That's Let's a have few a look. days old, and then that's. You continue today. with the article. No, it would, it, with, you continue with the article. It would be day so. just because if it was, you'd have to change it every day if it was by days old. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what do you reckon would make the list for definitely do not eat this food past the expiration date? Milk. Yeah, milk. Anything dairy based. Yeah. Actually, oh, except cheese. Cheese, you know, they age, right? They're like blue, blue vein. Yeah, some cheese age as well. Yeah. Milk was not in the like list. Blue vein and. What? Milk was not so in when the it's list. chunky, it's all right? No, we're talking no. about past no. the use by date. What's past the expiration oh, wait. date. Oh, hold on, hold on. Which one are we going by? We are going by past the expiration date. So I guess the expiration date is the use by date. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, milk surely. I use milk. I actually <laughs> use milk past the expiration date. Really? But I always smell oh, it first. Oh god. You are the gambler. I always smell it first. It actually is it can be all right up to maybe 2 3 days past and then it can oh, start to turn. I'm never having a coffee or house again. <laughs> look, I'm with I'm with them on this one in terms of I don't just like if something's good on a Monday and its expiration is Tuesday, like it doesn't just turn on Tuesday morning. Go, <laughs> That's nah. exactly what I mean. <laughs> That's exactly like, what I mean. I'll check yeah. it. 
Yeah. <laughs> Usually I have fresh milk, CJ, don't worry. But like if it wink, is, wink. if it went off yesterday and it smells exactly the same as it did then or perfectly fine, I'm using it. But Aiden, my eldest, did pour himself cereal. And, and the chunks came out. But this was before I was awake. And then I went to pour it for his brother and it was chunky and smelt off. So I said, and he was eating it by this stage. I yeah. said, Aiden, what milk did you use? And he said, that one. I said, did you not, does that not smell or taste disgusting? It like had lumps, right? And he's like, no. And then I was like, Aiden, don't eat that. Like, just put it down now. And you he's know, like. I think someone left it out. Someone no. left it out into, and like let it like, because um, I was like, the use by date was like four days away. Uh, oh. you, you know what it is? Well, Your wife's playing m- milk roulette, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Aiden was the loser of the roulette. <laughs> In saying that, if it's just the, if there's like like not much left, I'll just open the new one. But like if there's like if it's just yesterday yeah. and it smells perfectly fine, I'm using it. Okay, no milk was not soft cheeses were though. You said soft cheeses, so just yeah, like yeah, um, oh, I don't know, like. Cottage cheese, ugh. um, cream cheese, goat's cheese, and all that. You ha- they will only last about two weeks maximum for it to go off, or one week for ricotta. But your cheddar and everything, your harder cheeses, they can last a lot longer. And then even if you get a moldy bit on the cheddar, you can just cut that off and use the rest. Cut it off. Yeah. The same with bread. Is that the same for bread? Nah. Cut the bread, mold off the bread. bread. I'm not taking the risk. What I'm do you mean? You're not just pulling the mold out? Nah. Nah. It's going to the bin. Nah. Not taking, not taking the risk. <laughs> I'll just throw the moldy one away and use the next one if it's not moldy. Nah, the whole thing's gone. The whole thing? It's contaminated. <laughs> the whole thing. Hey, CJ, there was one time I took all the mold out, Siege, and it ended up being like Swiss cheese. There were so many holes in it. Like, there was not much bread left. I said, ah, don't worry about it. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just I just envision myself doing this in the bathroom like oh my god I shouldn't have eaten that bread <laughs> oh man Jesus take me now before you but continue but when the bread before goes a little continue. bit like soft and like um or not like it kind of goes warmish softish I'm like Ugh, and that get rid of that yeah the the tags for the bread Monday is blue Tuesday is green Thursday is red Friday is white and Saturday is yellow what's Wednesday so what's they Wednesday Sunday they don't. They don't cook on Wednesday. Is this in Australia? I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it says this. Gizm, giz, gizmodo.com.au. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, egg substitutes. So not your normal egg, not your normal carton of eggs, which can last about anywhere from like three to five weeks. If you leave eggs out, do they go off? Yeah. Eggs right. should be kept. They grow a chicken inside and hatch. Eggs should be <laughs> eggs. You can a keep in the, in the fridge for three to five weeks, but you have to don't. They say don't keep them in the door because every time you open the door, the temperature changes. They should be kept so, in stable temperature. Oh, so you have fridge eggs? Yes. Yeah. See, this was a really weird thing for me because we in England we don't have fridge eggs. But why don't you have fridge eggs? It's so. I'm about to tell you. So, <laughs> good question, Siege. Why we why? have. Why? When I lived in America, why don't you have fridge eggs? Tell me, why don't you have fridge eggs? I need to know, why don't you have fridge eggs? For the love of God, tell me why you don't have fridge eggs. Jesus. This information is so important to me, is why you don't have fridge eggs. It's a shame people are never going to see that. They're only going to hear it. So when I lived in America, they had fridge eggs, much like you guys. Like you go in the supermarket, they'd be in the fridge, you'd go home, you'd put them in your fridge. Here, they're out, they're not in the fridge, you go home and you don't put them in the fridge. And I found out it's something to do with a layering, like a coating on the egg. So I think it's we have a coating on the egg that in Europe that you don't have outside of Europe. Because it's cold cold weather? Fridged eggs. I don't know. I would would assume because it's cold weather. Huh. This was years ago that I read this. So I don't remember the details. I just remember there being something about a layer, which was why some places fridge and some places don't. I wonder what about the it chickens in like Alaska? A of, the Alaskan sounds like chicken. Sounds like bullshit. I wonder if the Alaskan chicken, Alaskan chicken, um, don't they they leave their eggs out on the counter? I wonder. I I think 
it's the the whole changing temperature. You have to keep it at a stable temperature. Uh-huh. But obviously, Australian that gets extremely hot. So and then cold. The fridge, and then, yeah. yeah. Um, but for egg substitutes, so stuff like what your is ca- an egg substitute? So like carton of whites. How you can egg buy whites. like egg whites in a carton uh-huh. and stuff like that. That literally only lasts a few days. Yeah. That's it. Um, so do not hang on to those. Are you is are Europe is Europe actually? Don't worry about Europe. Are you guys uh, tomato sauce in the cupboard or in the uh, in the refrigerator? Fridge. We put ours in fridge. the fridge. I don't use tomato sauce. My condiments aren't in the fridge. Oh, yeah, I don't really not. use condiments. Why don't you use tomato so sauce? I'm not the best person to ask. Oh. Condiments is tomato on here. Sauce, this is a really weird thing that I have, and I, like I don't know why. I think it's just from observation. But to me, tomato sauce is like the kids start a pack to condiments. <laughs> uh, aren't you yeah. a snob towards yeah. tomato sauce? You know I what? Don't, like, I, I genuinely don't know why I think that. It's just Ali- I feel like I see more kids yes. have ketchup than adults. So, can I tell you guys? Right, every time I get this, I get the same look. Right. So when I go into my kebab shop. Or any kebab shop, right? And I, they go, what do you want? I go, chicken kebab, please. Can you? He goes, what salad? I go, lettuce, tomato, onion. I said it like that. <laughs> I go, lettuce, tomato, onion. L T O. Oh, L O T. And he Lock. goes, he. This is the big one. He goes, sauce. L T O. He goes, sauce. And I go, tomato sauce. And his look on his face is of disgust. <laughs> And it's like I'm like ruining, I'm his, ruining dish. his artwork. He every single That's kebab like my place. Mom. She would. My mum and dad used to get really upset. Like we wouldn't. Uh, we weren't allowed tomato sauce on a lot of things because they're like they've just cooked you a meal and you're ruining it you've with put tomato seasoning, sauce. You've put like all this <laughs> love that's, into it. That's you the go, thing. I feel sauce, like, mum. <laughs> I feel like tomato sauce is the uh, only con- condiment that doesn't complement flavors. It just overrides flavors. Yes, it does. It totally overrides it. <laughs> See, with sugar. With a kebab, I'm more, li- I'm more likely to go to garlic, garlic sauce. Yeah. and chilli. Yeah, with some yeah. chilli sauce. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Same, garlic and chilli. But that th- that's just me. And maybe if I'm feeling like a oh, more saucy kind of day, yeah. barbecue. I'll get like a little bit of barbecue. Well, yeah. when you've got glitter or something, <laughs> feeling saucy. Yeah. <laughs> A bit saucy. I was a bit saucy that day. Yeah, yeah so... I sourced it up. I have the, uh, the egg facts, by the way. Oh, go. So, it says here, apparently, according to this, it's most of the world doesn't refrigerate their eggs. Um, oh. So, I don't know if you're in the minority, <laughs> but it says, the salt... I don't know why it says the salt. In many countries, eggs are, eggs are refrigerated aren't refrigerated and they're still considered safe to eat but in the u.s we have to chill them because we've washed away the cuticle that protects them from bacteria so if you have refrigerated oh. eggs it's because they've been extra processed and they're more vulnerable oh interesting there you go huh that is interesting that is interesting um so condiments mustard can last up to a year in the fridge um salsa only a month mayo and Mayo for two months, barbecue sauce four months, ketchup six hold, hold, months. Okay, hold on. Salsa a month? A month for salsa. See, you about to go throw out okay, I, I have to go throw some salsa. <laughs> <laughs> we know, obviously, one of the most um, obvious ones, which is potato salad. What? Oh, yeah. Potato salad. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, I'll go off. Like, because it's got your eggs and it's but how, got... What, like, do people... Is that a, is that a staple for people? Potato like if you salad? have a barbecue and you leave the potato salad, you can't eat it by the end of the day. Like that's oh, gone. Okay. That's done. Right, right, right. Like you get rid of that stuff. Um, cold pressed juice. What about it? Yes. So juice turns raw, into alcohol. Well, oh, it does. But I thought that takes a little bit, like a little while. No. So you're not supposed to leave juice out. I, I learned this from um, a girl I dated briefly who worked at a mental health facility. Um, but it was like a... for. Like you, prisoners. You sure she mental. worked there? She wasn't a resident? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Left yourself open. You know, like, um, where they'll, like, you have, like, a lot of prisoners and stuff in there as well. Uh, yeah. they've been, whatever. But she said, like, a lot of them would, they'd have their juice and they would purposely, like, hide it and leave it out in room temperature because it turns into alcohol. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's what they yeah, do yeah, in yeah, prison, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. And there's 60 um, days. They yeah, did yeah, that yeah, in 60 yeah. days. They That's were called, holding the um, juice. What do they call it? Uh, fermenting 
No, fermenting? they've got a word for it. Fermenting? Hooch. Wait, that's fr- just hooch. The, 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 isn't huh? that what you do? That's with- hooch. Where they leave the, the fruit. Oh, so like, you forget, you're forgetting a word. Yeah, you're forgetting a word. Huh. Mama. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> um, raw, untreated juices yeah. are the popular ones, you know, amongst the health conscious people. Um, nutrient dent, but unlike typical processed juices, they undergo pasteurization um, to kill off harmful bacteria and increase shelf life. The raw ones aren't pasteurized. Um, so they're a lot more open to bacterial contamination. So um, with your pasteurized ones, they can last about 30 days, but the other ones literally like five days. And that's it. Get oh, rid of it. Okay. But I didn't know that either. Um, ground meat is more susceptible than n- fresh meat, normal meat, because you grind it all in. So the bacteria that was on the outside gets mixed into the inside now. Okay. So I've got a question for you. I got a question for you, which is that that was interesting, Ems. Very. Your takeaway food. I don't know how often you guys get takeaway food, yeah. but how many times are you reheating that? Once. No, but like, Once. but like I'm saying, how about if you don't use like it, you get like it I just sounds a like so, it sounds like you're someone <laughs> who reheats it more than once. I'm and just, trying I'm to just, justify it. I'm just saying, like KFC, right? So like, if you get a bucket of KFC, and, and you're not well, listen, listen. You get one. So the bucket's like 20, uh, 12 pieces and mm-hmm. you've got six in there, right? You take two yeah. out yeah. and you nuke it. You put it in the microwave. You still got four in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. you, the two days after, will you eat those KFC or you chuck it out? No, nah, probably from One it. day I would, not two. No? Yeah, one day. One one day. One day or two days later, even oh, if, I would. Even if you nuke that, it? Out. Like, even if you nuke it, like, so the first time I'd reheat it for a minute and then the on the second day you do it for, like, two and a half minutes to make sure <laughs> all the bacteria is killed. If I was pushing no, it I'm, that far, I'm, 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 I'm throwing I'm it still out. Th- I'm that. still thinking of me being in the bathroom going, oh, my God, I <laughs> wish I didn't eat that chicken. <laughs> See, I'm trying to think. Like, I don't remember... I, don't, I think the last time I had leftover f- takeaway food was when I was in college in and pizza. Yeah. I think I always finish my takeaway <laughs> the time I order it. <laughs> before, now, you, before you sit I, down. I, I remember when I was young. <laughs> before you got home. Before you got this home. This was winter. Yeah. I bought a pizza, I left it in my work van, forgot it, and two days later I ate it. Oh! And wow. you're worried about KFC that's in the fridge? Come on, man! Wow, <laughs> that's a. Uh... But you can eat. Um... I was eighteen at the time. What's pizza then? I'm What's a day for pizza? Life. I'd still just do one day. No maximum way. Maximum two days. No way. Maximum, maximum two days. That's it. But... It was two days. But it doesn't it taste as it it cold. Taste so nice it's like on. a fridge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not the same. <laughs> Your van's not the same as a fridge. <laughs> I'll not say, especially think, in the midday. I think fridges have other things other than just being cold. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, I'm still here. You are still alive. I'll give you that much. You know something similar, Siege? I was 18 Siege? at the time. Yeah. Something similar so, to that. I wouldn't do it now. They, but when I was 18, I was like, yeah, I'll be right. 18 year old. 18. Oh, we went to a 18, no, 21st birthday. And it was out in Candos. And Where? At, right. So it's far. And it's cold. Was that me- us? No, 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 it wasn't with you guys. And it was cold. It was. I, I tell you how cold it was. We left the beers in the back of the guy's ute, and for breakfast, right? I don't know what I was thinking, but for breakfast we had a beer breakfast. He saw the Good case enough. of beer, and he goes, "You want one?" I go, "Ah, oh, that that's been that hasn't been in the fridge." He goes, "Yeah, it's all right." It he opened it and like the icy. It was so cold where we were at. It. It was frozen on the inside. Like, it wasn't frozen, but it was so crisp. When I drank it, I went, oh, my teeth was like, <laughs> it hurt my teeth. It was so cold. I was like, oh, that's a big, I wasn't expecting it. And then he goes, toughen up, <laughs> toughen up, mate. Princess. <laughs> Princess. I was like, oh, man. Yeah, like in Denmark, like your family, they just keep it all out in the balcony because it's so cold. It's like, so cold. they just keep all yeah, their yeah. drinks out there. Yeah. That's wild. God. I'm pretty sure we say, used to keep some drinks outside in, in winter too. Yeah, yeah. As I said, it was winter time. I don't know. The, the van was cold. Mm. I, say, I don't know if you remember, Emma. We used to throw barbecues 
back in our in our old house that we grew up in, me and Emma, mm. and we would have uh, like these big plastic bins that mm. we would fill up with ice, and then yeah. people would bring alcohol and just yeah. fill it up. But obviously, no. Everyone always brought more than they would drink, and yeah. we also <laughs> provided alcohol, and we just ended up with this bin full of ice, full of drinks in our garage for days and days and oh, days yeah. after barbecues. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this yeah, is in the I middle remember. of summer as well. Like, this isn't in winter. <laughs> yes, but remember, summers weren't, global warming has changed that a lot. Summers were not nearly as hot as they are now in England. I still wore a jumper during your summers. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh it's a bit chilly. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah look uh, that's about it guys gotta do it. yeah there's i won't go through but it includes fish fresh berries so what are we saying greens. these use yes. by and these uh sale by and all that they're just guidelines you you use your intuition with well, what you want to <laughs> what you think is good or not okay maybe <laughs> no, maybe not with some guidelines. stuff oh, okay. maybe not with do some you, stuff do you know what i think is always like this is a kind of scenario where like when you look at things from a daily basis it gets really hard to tell, like, when you should put limits on stuff. Like, if you say this, like we were saying, something could be good one day, but then if the expiry date, that doesn't mean it's changed. Yeah. Like, it's just yeah. a day later. Yeah. yeah. But you can apply that to so many different things. There's a, there's a really good episode of The Office where I can't remember what they're arguing about, but two of the guys are arguing. And one of them, Dwight's like, he's saying, like, something would happen. It would take this many days. And the other guy goes, like, let's say it's 100 days. And he goes, what about 101 days? <laughs> like, we asked I suppose it could take that about 102 days <laughs> well yeah no I suppose and this goes on and they end up going for like he goes on for so long it's so funny <laughs> it's brilliant <laughs> oh I've got to watch that <sighs> yeah that's about it really watch what you eat Okay, Alexander, you put a tweet in, which is actually, ooh, it's so sad. But um, it's a bride on her wedding day in Beirut, Lebanon. Um, and she's doing like a photo shoot. Well, photo, video, photo shoot, a video shoot, I guess, um, of her in her, um, her wedding dress. I don't know if the wedding was on that day or if she was just doing pre-wedding shoot. Um so you see the camera panning in on her and she's looking absolutely stunning and the camera pans around and then all of a sudden just a massive blast and it's from that bomb that went off last week oh no yeah it was all caught on camera i saw yeah and then like the videographer is like running away like not knowing where to run obviously and there's just like smoke filling the streets and then the bride's running away but it was caught literally on camera so she's there smiling looking amazing and then just boom Isn't it's that an incredible cool? video in terms of just like from an insight standpoint it's an incredible video um, yeah but the so the reason i wanted to bring this is this is obviously a global story that everyone's heard as far as the beirut explosion and this video of this woman in the wedding dress went viral as well as part of as one of the angles of seeing what's happened because obviously for most most people in the world that's an extremely foreign experience yeah but what i found really intriguing was this woman her name is isra seblani probably said it wrong but that's she, a nice name her name her full name because mm-hmm. i didn't say it right is dr isra seblani mm-hmm. so there's an interview yeah. there's another article here um with an interview where they're, they're asking her about it because obviously you know it's she, she's she's now go on siege is her name actual doctor or is she a doctor? No, she is a doctor. Oh, okay. Because you said her name was actually doctor. I was like, who names their child doctor? <laughs> but she- I, thought, I said, uh, like, Israel Samani sounds like a beautiful name, like a real, <laughs> like a real lovely name. Why would you ruin it with naming a doctor Israel Samani? That's just stupid. <laughs> CJ, just are, pre- you, are, prepping you, her for life. are you pulling me leg or what? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so she. They're going through this interview, but so I've kind of given away a little bit there. Being she's a doctor, and they said like, "What what happened when the blast? You know, like, what did you think? What what was going on?" And she she said like, "You know, I thought I was going to die. Didn't know." And they went into I think it was a like a little cafe. Like the the husband was like, "You know, we need to go find cover. We need to go somewhere." Yeah. Um, and in there 
let me just so I saw people uh, explosion happened my husband ran towards me and told me let's go to a safer place let's hide ourselves we went into the cafe Um, and I'll redo this next bit Uh, this is her speaking I saw people shocked were crying as I told you as I told you I remember myself when I used to be in hospital especially in an emergency department wearing the white coat I followed the same situation but here I was wearing a white dress and not a lab coat so I felt like I have to do something I have to give them some help so I started to help some people clean the injuries and relax them until we went out from that place so this woman just went from one of the most traumatic experiences on one of the most happy days of her life to just going straight into save other people mode like to me that was just incredible that is incredible incredible I think yeah I think doctors and nurses just they just straight straight into it if there's if there's any situation like well, in the movies they're like i'm a doctor and they like run down the front of the bus and they cpr um yeah see it's not it, it, what movies it's... are you watching that have i'm a doctor <laughs> i've seen heaps you've not seen those is there a doctor no, i don't watch crappy <laughs> i don't watch crappy movies <laughs> but yeah i, I just, I just I, it was it was more of a personal positive look on what was yeah. an absolutely tragic thing but at least like seeing the humanity side of things yeah um but i thought for her like because she was only known as the wedding dress lady i found this really it's intriguing nice having her um, full story yeah like there's no like she probably like no like the uh, the only thing that pops into my head is like the uh, fra- like that phrase goes no time for that so like she's like ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> she just goes straight into like doing doctor but shit. you know what there was a lot a lot a lot a lot of videos foot of video footage oh my from this, gosh from this bomb. so there was a girl right before like I, I, there was a girl and she was doing a um a TikTok right and she was uh, she was she was just saying how beautiful the day was. And she was saying, "Oh, guys, we'll we'll do um we'll do the video on the balcony," and she's la- like she's laughing and she's just skipping towards the balcony. She's in her apartment, and she can see this this puff of like she can hear the explosion and she hears this puff of smoke, and the face that changes from happiness to shock to like to to fear yeah. to just like friend man, you just saw a change and you're just like you could. <laughs> You, you just go yeah. bar out. That's like bar like, out. Like these poor people didn't know what it was. It could have been like nah. a nuclear bomb. It like, looked. No it looked yeah, like, like, like a bomb. nuclear bomb. Yeah, like a nuclear bomb. Yeah, like that cloud. Yeah, like, like they they didn't know if they're gonna live or die that day, man. Yeah. You know? So like it's, a, a lot of them handled it quite well. Like, I, I think I'll be under a table just going. I'm I'm dead today. This is my last day on earth. I so say there's few yeah. instances that really really snap you out of. Your like mono- the narrative your that we all yeah. live like yeah and we just realize oh wait no things are not the way that we live our lives yeah, every yeah. day but it's, yeah. it is it's cr- i think that's the first to me at least that i've seen the first um event like that that's been caught from so many different angles yeah from so many different people like and you actually yeah. get more of a lived experience of it yeah as opposed to like a camera crew doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, 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 so, yes, yes. Because the camera crew only feature like the worst of the worst. Yeah. Like they look for the more devastating areas, like people bleeding and all that. Yeah, and as as Dev said, like you're you're viewing this from someone's real life perspective, like yeah. that just going about their day. Yeah. Like the amount the amount of videos is sort like as CJ said, like you run, you hide under the table, like you. you you saw people yeah. not knowing what to do, but then they would come back out, and I was like, "What? I would, I'd be there for days, just like, is it safe here?" Yeah, like, <laughs> I saw, I saw a view of a man, like, he, um, he grabbed his son, like uh, when he heard the explosion, was holding him, and didn't know where to run, mm. because you wouldn't know son. where. Yeah, like I was like, man, the, the poor bloke, you know, he was going, trying to run, like he was like he paused, he didn't know where to go. Yeah, because you don't know what's panic. happened. Yeah. Yeah, and that woman that oh, grabbed like, her yeah, little like, girl that's... from the. But oh, mate. <clears throat> do we know any more about this? Like, I haven't. Do no, we know it was the about... you call it. I think there's stories, but no the, one really knows. Um, from my understanding, it was I've forgotten what the chemical is. Um, yeah, fertilizer, wasn't it? It's the chemical <laughs> compound was mix, that was it? held there. It was cap. It was poop. Yeah, but it's 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 wasn't specific it? uh, like chemical compound that causes the explosion. 
and apparently it was there for years and the government should have like done something yeah. about it and they just didn't that's they kept putting oh. it off that's, that's my understanding the, so far that's a story that i heard as well and now it's caused it's caused so much death and damage it's disgusting yeah like such a what such a loss such a waste of a loss of life mm-hmm. like they lost uh, they lost a lot of people a lot of people died for nothing like mm. that should have been handled a long time ago mm. and apparently they're going through their worst economic crisis in a long time before that happened as well and oh, import and export being their main source of economic income which that was a dock that that happened at oh so as a country but have you se- have you seen the place where it happened no. Nah. Like, have you seen the pictures of the area? No. Nah. Well, after. It looks oh, like, yeah. It's, like, it, like a, yeah. It looks like a war zone. Mm, it looks like yeah. Chernobyl. It's bad. Well, it is, really, yeah. But, um, yeah. Oh, but man. Dr. It was it Isra Samani? That's awesome. It's so awesome. Good on like, her. What a brave lady. Yeah. yeah. Sablani. Isra Sablani. It's like selfless, right? Mm-hmm. It's like... Yeah. Some, it, some intuitively women... Intuitively selfish yeah. as well. Yeah. Not even, like, thought about her. Yeah. Like, yeah, she wasn't in a moment. In a moment, you don't know if you're gonna live or die. Yeah, she wasn't doing for the gram, yeah. eh? She wasn't. She was like, "This is who I am." You know how some yeah. people do it for the gram. Uh, she was just genuinely. Okay, she's good. genuinely a nice person. Because in that situation, like your mindset will be protect myself and protect the people I care about. That's mm. it. Mm. Not hers. And also, Not she hers. looked like she's absolutely stunning in that wedding dress as well. Oh, mate! Awesome, yeah. Mm. She, 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 you, like well, a lot of people would have thought she was an angel. Yeah. All in white, freaking hell. <laughs> that was. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. What? What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Like, yeah. Imagine people like got <laughs> injured. She, they, she approached you. So in, like... us not understanding him. Wait, <laughs> what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just... <laughs> okay. Hey. M- most of my, my my life, my directions I get is this. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I am really not used to that. <laughs> yeah, because she was like in the flowy dress. They would have been like, oh. that was like, was that me? C- that C- that CJ, <laughs> CJ, we value your opinion. Okay, yes, we value definitely. your opinion. If we didn't, you wouldn't be on the oh. podcast. <laughs> 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 my my opinion? <laughs> Me? I caused that reaction. See, CJ's no. like CJ just picks up mud and he just throws it on the wall and he sees what sticks. <laughs> he's on stuck and he's like, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I meant that. <laughs> Um, that's uh, that's it for another Someone week. Someone should have told me. That's another week <laughs> of uh, podcasting, um, talking and conversing and stations. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, good. We'll Did you say conversing and then <laughs> stations? And stations. Like that. I just came like up with two simple words. words. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. We'll be back next week. All then. right. I'll see you. I'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye. Cheerio. you. <laughs> Arrivederci. Done. 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 Done.